Hey guys, so um, this is what my wife looks like <gasps> after she saw how the rear end of the Defender so, looks. So I had to, to redo the cross member, it took some work, but I'll show you the end so, result. So this is a photo of what it looks like. Yeah. This video is about how I repaired it and how it's looking now. I'll so, be removing the nail step, getting it powder coated and sorting out a few things here at the back to make it look good. It's a common issue for these vehicles to get some surface rust, some bolts rusting that I'll remove and replace with probably stainless steel. So for now I'm basically just removing this and we'll take it from there. Okay guys, so this car is a 2013 model. It's in South Africa, it doesn't really get wet, anything like that. Um, I just washed it yeah. now, but um, it's quite a lot of yeah. sand and mud coming so, out of it. So just check yours. Um, it's all surface rust, but if you don't attend to it somewhere, it is gonna bite you in the, in the arse. If I look at this piece here, it's still on the surface, but you know, once you leave it too long, it will start pitting, stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm so, gonna basically, Take a flapper disc, just clean some of the worst stuff off, Not go, won't go too and deep. Then, and I'll then put I'll a, a coat over that. So there's a few options I've got. I'll just do some research and decide which way I'm going to go. Um, you also get a coat called Coast Guard, which is a black paint. Yeah. It's an yeah. undercoat, but you don't really need to paint over it. Or one guy I know specifically uses it on all the rear cross members to, to seal it never have any issues with it and, and basically it prevents yeah. rust from so, from forming so yeah, so, a few options so yeah. but yeah starting okay, with this guys, job as now as you can see i just finished um, sanding all the rusty parts down it's really very much um our surface rust there's nothing that pitted or anything like that happy to catch it early i marked everything up so i'll be doing some spray work now then should be sorted basically finished this and I think it looks great. It would be great once I finish that and powder coated everything. While I'm busy with this whole exercise here I'm gonna basically put the the plug this side. So I've cut the wires off because I got connection blocks. Um, I can't get to the plug at the bottom to plug it out so I'm just gonna reconnect that but then the idea is to put it there. It's five mil screw, so I need to tap it with a five, drill it four mil hole. Yeah, so I've got my three holes. I'm gonna tap it now and then just make sure that it's working. This is a tap, M5 taps, but the, it requires a 4.2 hole. So I made a four hole because of the thin material just to get a tighter fit. So hopefully I can get this done quite nicely. It's, let's see how that goes. I'm also gonna use basically this tap. Not sure if you'll see it, but if you zoom in there, it looks like there's at least four threads. It feels quite strong. I'm sure from behind, you'll still be able to put a nut if you really need to, but the idea is not so to do yeah, that. So I'll put some, probably some Loctite on there if I need to, if I feel they can come so loose. I'm gonna crimp these wires with these plugs and put heat shrink over that. So if you do something like that, Make sure you use a proper tool so that it can't come loose. Test everything when you're done. As you can see, I got a cable through and it's, it's quite nice and long, so it's easy to work here. I basically clamp them and get the trailer bracket on. I've clamped these wires together. I've put a heat shrink over, so I'm gonna just do that. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna put some insulation tape over it just to, to hold it. But the nice thing is it's gonna sit in there so it shouldn't get any real water or anything like that. So that's what it ended up looking like. Just gonna put it in, just tightening it up and I think it's gonna be great. Looks good, it can open quite far. I just need to clean it a bit. Yeah, so far we're really getting there with the look of this rear end.
yesterday I created this extendable tow bar bracket like you can see there. There's a pin going through there, then at the bottom you can put a, uh, a pin through and screw it in. So I'm basically sending this now for powder coating with these brackets and the step as you can see chipping off. So, Okay guys, so I basically just got my stuff back from the powder coat. I relined the inside of the rear drawer system. Done that, so the next thing to do in the back here is get high dense foam inserts on this side and this side where I can put the basic stuff like cutlery, um, you know, quite a few things that I take on a normal trip, even the jacks, that type of stuff, have a place for it where it's permanently situated and then I'll keep the front of the drawer open for tools or you know just random loose stuff that you carry along then just to show you the finish basically so i took the drawer send it to powder coating and it looks quite unique unfortunately this has worn there but i'll try and sort that out on a bit later stage i got some proper leather got it dyed to this color i'll probably play around with a few colors if i want to um, i changed all the bolts to stainless steel Is it? Okay guys, so you can see the kid always wants to be in the Land Rover, which is great for me. Um, but anyways, just to recap on everything I've done, I've redid the rear door. And as you can see, I finally got that last piece of carpet in, but still need to clean it up with paraffin. So yeah, if you use contact adhesive, paraffin is the best to um, clean it with. So on the cross member, as you know, I've, I've said it before, but I've used Coast Guard to paint it. I've moved the plug, I finally um, powder coated this, which was something I wanted to do for very long. Um, I also read the step there. So all the bolts are covered with some plastic covers, which just makes it look nice. But and I think this pin that's red it just stands out a bit. So I just need to put my cover on. I'm quite happy with how it came out. And to be honest, I think it's a very rewarding job. And if you get that sorted, uh, it looks great. Uh, all in all, probably a week's worth of work, um, waiting for powder coating, you know. The spraying and stuff is half a day's work. It's just getting the prep work done. But otherwise, I'm very happy with it. I hope you guys like it. Give me some comments. Let me know if you think it looks good and appreciate everyone's input. Guys, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.